Hey everyone, good morning. This is me, Manya Gupta, your tech host. Bulletin of the day starts with Perplexity AI, which lands on WhatsApp. Your personal search assistant just got hand here. Make in India gets a boost, direct to mobile broadcasting in focus. Sony mulls spinning off its chip business. Big change brewing in Tokyo. OnePlus 13 series coming soon with Snapdragon 8 Elite flagship killer. Amazon's project Kuiper blast off Starlink. About Reliance, which eyes higher India, and finally about China races to build an AI chip to rival Nvidia. It's time for a daily tech question. Here's the one today. In yesterday's quiz, we asked you who is the founder of Perplexity. Answer is Arvind Srinivas, Johnny Ho, Andy Kowinski, Dennis Yeras. It's time for a daily tech question. Here's the one. Who founded VR technology? Confident you got the answer? Drop your guess in the comments below. Tune into tomorrow's bulletin to find out if you nailed it. Starting with the news, we have Perplexity AI, the rising star in the world of AI-driven information retrieval, which is now officially launched on WhatsApp. Yes, you heard it right. Now, you can access an intelligent search assistant directly from your favorite messaging app. Perplexity has been challenging giants like Google by offering precise conversational answers to complex queries, much like an expert research buddy in your pocket. With its WhatsApp integration, users can now send questions via simple text and get real-time summarized responses without needing to open a browser. Early access users, they are praising the service for being fast, intuitive and surprisingly accurate. The launch reflects the larger trend of embedding AI more deeply into our daily tools. And it poses a direct challenge to traditional search engines as well. Perplexity says the integration is privacy first and ensures no user data is missing. Moving on, India's Make in India initiative is set to receive a huge push as the government focused on the upcoming direct-to-mobile technology rollout. D2M will allow mobile phones to receive content like TV, emergency alerts and news directly from broadcasters without needing a data connection. Idea is to use digital terrestrial broadcasting to beam content straight to smartphones, making information access cheaper and more accessible, especially in rural India. Department of Telecommunication and Ministry of Information and Broadcasting they are collaborating with industry players to pilot D2M services. And this could trigger a manufacturing boom for compatible mobile devices in India. Smartphone manufacturers are reportedly already gearing up to embed D2M receivers in future models and component suppliers see huge potential. Experts believe that D2M could transform sectors like education, disaster management, public health communication, even entertainment. Then we have Sony Group which is considering a major restructuring spinning off its highly profitable semiconductor chip division into a standalone entity. According to insiders, the move could unlock massive value for Sony shareholders and allow the chip business, known specially for its CMO's image, sensors in smartphones and cameras, to thrive independently in fast-evolving tech markets. Sony's chip unit is a critical player globally, supplying cutting-edge imaging sensors to companies like Apple, Samsung, others. But competition is heating up with rivals like Samsung and Omnivision investing heavily in next-generation sensors. Sony hopes to streamline its empire, which currently includes everything from PlayStation and movies to financial services and hardware. Analysts suggest that such a spin-off could help the semiconductor unit attract more investment, increase innovation speed and compete more aggressively. Then hold on to your seats, smartphone fans, because OnePlus is gearing up to launch highly anticipated OnePlus 13 and OnePlus 13R models in India later this year. And they are bringing serious firepower. Reports confirm that OnePlus 13 series will feature Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, a new name for what many insiders call Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. This chipset promises massive performance leaps. So we are talking AI-enhanced battery management, hyper-realistic gaming experience and camera capabilities that could rival DSLR. OnePlus 13 is also rumored to feature a ceramic back, 2K LTPO AMOLED display and an even bigger focus on ultra-wide periscope telephoto cameras. Design suggests a refreshed but elegant look, maintaining OnePlus tradition of blending minimalism with performance. Pricing details are still under wraps, but given the brand strategy, we can expect aggressive pricing compared to rivals like Samsung Galaxy S25 or iPhone 16. Coming on to Amazon, which has successfully launched its first two prototype satellites for its much-anticipated project Kuiper, officially entering the space-based internet race dominated by Elon Musk Starlink. 
Kuipersat 1, Kuipersat 2, they were deployed aboard an Atlas V rocket and early tests suggest they are performing as expected. Amazon plans to eventually deploy a constellation of over 3200 satellites to provide high-speed internet access across under-reserved and remote regions. This launch is a milestone. With regulatory deadlines looming, Amazon needs to deploy half of its satellite by 2026 to maintain its spectrum drive. So Amazon is betting on its e-commerce, cloud infrastructure strength to integrate Kuiper into daily consumer life. Think faster internet for prime customers, seamless integration with AWS service and possibly even cheaper internet solutions in emerging markets. Jeff Bezos' space arm Blue Origin will also play a major role here, although the first launch was contracted with United Launch Alliance. Coming Reliance Industry, led by Mukesh Shambani, is reportedly joining the race to acquire a majority stake in Hire's Intent operations, according to fresh reports. Hire, the Chinese consumer electronics and appliance giant, has been eyeing strategic partnership to accelerate India's growth, and Reliance Deep Pockets and retail ecosystem could be a perfect fit. If the deal goes through, it could create a new heavyweight challenger to existing leaders like LG, Samsung, Whirlpool in Indian appliance markets. Reliance Retail's massive physical footprint e-commerce dominance through Geomart could give Hire a rocket boost. At the same time, Reliance would expand its already diverse consumer electronics and home appliance portfolio, further embedding itself into Indian households. Sources say that discussions are at an early stage and other bidders are also in the fray. But with Reliance's track record of aggressive deal-making, it wouldn't be surprising to see them emerge as a strong contender. This is yet another sign that India's consumer durables market, already worth billions, is set for major disruption and growth over the next few years. Last but not the least, we have China's leading tech companies including Huawei and others which are reportedly collaborating to develop a homegrown AI chip capable of competing with NVIDIA's top GPU like H100, A100. The move comes as US export restrictions on advanced semiconductors tighten, creating an urgent need for domestic alternatives. Huawei's Ascend series chips have already shown some promises, but insiders suggest that the new project aims to build a powerhouse AI chip that could level the playing field in large model training, autonomous driving, high-performance computing. Chinese government is throwing its full weight behind the effort, providing funding, talent support, and even special manufacturing resources to fast-track development. If successful, China could reduce its dependence on Western chip makers significantly, which is a major step towards technological self-reliance. However, building AI chips at the level of NVIDIA's industry-leading hardware, it's not easy. It requires not just advanced manufacturing, but also cutting its software ecosystem and developers support this. Still, with its massive market, deep R&D pockets and political will, China's amb ambition to break NVIDIA's stranglehold could reshape the AI. Tech Cold War just got hotter and AI innovation might never be the same again. This was all for today's bulletin. I'll again meet you tomorrow. Till then, stay safe. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe IT Voice for all the tech updates. Thank you.